Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie Wizard of Oz himself, mm -hmm. and I'm here to discuss my review of this awesome Bond movie that came out three years ago after after Skyfall, and now it's the next to last movie for No Time to Die tomorrow, Spectre. So in this one, this shows Bond having a got a cryptic message from M, played by Judy Dench, Dench, and it sent him on a rogue mission to Mexico City and eventually Rome, where he meets, meets Lucia, played by Monica Bellucci. You all might know her from, from Shoot 'Em Up and The Sorcerer's Apprentice, who played Veronica, the the sorceress who was, who possessed, says Morgan Le Fay, Morgana Le Fay's soul. <laughs> and, and he, and he, and Bond infiltrated a secret meeting, meeting and uncovers the, ex the existence of a sinister organization Known, known as Spectre. Oh, I gotta say, it was shocking to see that meeting. It was like, the way how Bond walked in, it's like he, it's like he is, it's like he was trapped in the hornet's nest. It, it was crazy though. And we get to see New, new Feelings, played by Krista like Christoph Waltz, who plays Blofeld. But, oh, he was so sinister. He looked... He was... He was psychotic. He was such a sociopath. But... But... I, I, but there's also that other big villain, Mr. Hinks, played by Dave Batista. Oh my God! When we saw him come in and kill that guy with his fingernails, nails that was on his thumb, it was brutal. I gotta say, <laughs> say. You know, my brother just gave him a nickname, Claus, because it does sound like he could be the cousin of that other villain, Jaws. Yeah, Jaws was one of was Jaws was the was one of those deadly yet infamous villains you all know and love. But I'm so glad he switched sides. So it's all because he found love. Proud of him. And we get to see a new Bond girl in this one. One, Le Lea Sedog, who plays, plays Madeline Swong. Who's the daughter of of Mr. White from Quantum of Solace? What a small world! I gotta say, she was smart as a whip. She was beautiful and very stunning. <laughs> I, I I gotta say, she was a great ma match for Bond. They. They were so good together. Uh, yeah, I. So for this movie, I love it, but not that much. I mean, I mean, I do find the movie a little half baked. I can see why, why these people see why the critics kind of despise this movie by giving a lower lower score than its predecessor. I don't blame them, but I still love it. It was okay. It was good. 
I really, I really did love that fight scene between Bond and Mr. Hinks. Hinks, how he just, just tie, tie rope around him and how the, and hooked him up with those beer kegs that were coming out of the train. <laughs> it was quite funny when he saw that. His, I mean, his last words was, "Nah, forget it. I'm going off balance with this." Oh, uh, let's see what else. Oh, and I really did love the opening scene as well. How can I forget? That he was Bond was styling in his day of day of his day of the dead disguise. All my friends are eating steak, it's slow. And I really did love that awesome song, The Writing in the Wall by Sam Smith. If I ask it, all. it was it was pretty catchy. I really love it. Man, I'm so glad I saw saw this movie. I got ahead to Sam Smith. Okay, so for my score for Spectre, even though it didn't succeed to its predecessor, I think I'll give this movie a 9. Definitely a 9. <sighs> well, you guys, that is it. Huh. Okay, then. Because I saw all all four of the movies. Now I'm ready to see the upcoming coming new one, No Time to Die. <laughs> I wonder what will it be like with Rami, Rami Malek as the villain. Crazy. I did not see that coming anyway. Him be playing as a villain. Weird. Okay guys, I guess that's it. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe, stay healthy, and make sure you all see No Time to Die tomorrow. Bye.